How you doing, guys? Hi. We're back at Disneyland yes. today. They just dropped so many new so foods. So many new foods, you guys. Oh so my. try to keep up on this video. I am <laughs> excited because I haven't had new foods here at Disneyland in a I while. Know. So this is it's gonna been be cool. A minute, but I'm excited. <laughs> so. Let's yeah, do this. we're gonna have a lot of fun, guys. So, we <laughs> want you guys, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and leave a like. Yes. We're gonna have a great time today. So, why don't you join us today on this, this wonderful, wonderful world, world of food? food. Here we go. All right, so this new dish we're gonna try is over here at Rancho de Zocolo, right over in Frontierland. A few new dishes. Few new and dishes. a delicious drink. Oh, guys, this is exciting. <laughs> we're about to walk in the restaurant right now. The good old Rancho de Zocalo. We oh, gotta yeah, grab our tray yeah, first. The pork still. They still have the pork pozole, you're right. It was really good. But you know which so one good. I like more? Which the, one? The caldo de pollo. Caldo de pollo. Oh my gosh, that was so, so good. good. I hope to bring it back this year. I know. For Christmas 2022 for the holidays. Please, caldo de pollo is a must in the winter. Oh yeah. <laughs> to the Zocalo, I got myself the horchata cold brew. Look how delicious that looks. The whipped cream did melt, but that's fine. I kind of think of it as like a, the cream on top, you know what I mean? So. Doesn't it kind of have to like mix in too? Um, a little bit. <laughs> About it, like, cause horchata is really sweet, but the cold brew kind of balances out that sweetness and it's really, really nice. I like the whipped cream right on top with a little bit of cinnamon powder, just because it's kind of like a cold foam, you know what I mean? I like it. I really do. Oh yeah. So if you're at Rancho de Zocalo, you want like a, something sweet, but also a pick me up at the same time. Get yourself this cold jata cold brew because you will not be disappointed. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so right here we have the agave limon agua fresca. Look at that. It's got a nice little color to it. Now, usually on a hot day, I say come and get one of these. Today is not that hot. It's a little cloudy as you can see. It's a little overcast, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to be delicious. So let's try this out. Let's put the straw in. All right, here we go. Ooh, so it's weird because it kind of tastes like cucumber, but it's not. It's agave with lemon. So agave is very, it's like a sweetener. And uh, of course your lemon is good, but I'm not really tasting the lemon. It tastes more like cucumber. It's weird, like cucumber water, <laughs> a little more sweetened. You know what? It is really refreshing though, I'll tell you that. Not a lot of lemon, but a refreshing drink, very sweet. Kind of tastes like cucumber, a little bit of lemon. I know it's a little confusing to understand, but it's, pretty good. <laughs> I really enjoyed that one though. It's right? really good. Yeah, it's not too sweet, but also not too bitter. It's actually in between, which is really nice. This looks but that cool. one, try it. Right? Actually, Again, I'm not a huge fan of yeah. cold brew and I've established that before, but this is actually pretty, pretty good. Very sweet. I actually think I like this a little bit more than the cold brew in Galaxy's yeah, Edge. Yeah, the black cap. This is actually, a, I think, a little bit better. It just I doesn't have the, the cocoa puffs on top. It almost, I, <laughs> it's I know, good. Right? Yeah, I like it. And uh, it does have that nice little taste of horchata. I'm taking this with me. Bye, Janelle. Oh, no. A jolly holiday. This place is fantastic when you're here yes. during the fireworks because they have that delicious Grilled cheese with yeah, tomato soup. Yeah, the Jolly soup. Holiday specialty combo. It's oh. delicious. It's like grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's like the perfect ending to your like your perfect day. Yes, it's definitely awesome. a must. <laughs> it's we, definitely a must. We always have to do it. Yes. But uh, we haven't done it lately, which is unfortunate. No. But we maybe we'll do it tonight. Tonight, maybe. Oh wait, the park closes at nine today. Oh, that's right. Oh, so man. if you guys are planning to come into the park, make sure you check your app or the Disneyland time, just because. Things do change. I think they're getting off the, what is it, the holiday hours? Yeah, now? the holiday hours are gone. So now it's nine o'clock is when they close. Yeah. So just letting you know, prepare your day. <laughs> Jolly Holiday, I got myself the salted caramel macaron and the chocolate mousse brownie. Look how delicious, look how cute. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna try the macaron first. Ooh, yummies. But yeah, it's creamy, it's delicious. It almost tastes like cajeta. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You had a little bit of it, right? I did, I took a little bite and it kind of, to me, it tastes like butterscotch. Butterscotch, yeah. that's true. All right, a little bit of butterscotch. Mm, yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. I like it. Up next, I have the chocolate mousse brownie. Look how cute that looks. 
Ooh, I was those are the eat penguins it. from Mary Poppins. I know, Mary Poppins. <laughs> I don't want to eat it because it's so pretty, but as a foodie, you just gotta just gotta get in there. Gotta dig in. Ooh. Oh, she's a thicky. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Ooh. I can tell you this. It's gonna it looks rich. <laughs> oh, it's a rich chocolate. I don't is this a mousse set? I don't know. Oh yeah. Wait, I should have just taken a bite of the whole thing. Hold on, give me one. You second. gotta do it the magic journeys way, Janelle. And go for it, right? <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to get every bite. My mouth is full. Give me one second. Now, this is a very rich brownie, guys. So if you're looking for something rich and very chocolatey, get yourself this brownie. It's delicious. And that chocolate, not chocolate mousse, that creamy mousse right on top is so yummy. That little crunchy balls. Look at this. Delicious white chocolate. I love it. So, yeah, enjoy. If you're looking for something chocolatey, Give yourself this brownie. It's really delicious. All right, so right here, look at this beautiful little dish here. Now, this is the raspberry cream brulee. Wow, it's a little tart. Look, oh, it's really it's so pretty. Cute. This is actually prettier than the dessert you had earlier. <laughs> this looks really nice. Oh, and caramelized. Oh, I kind of want to, no, oh, I want to go with a fork like this. Every time I see something that's caramelized, like, oh, man. Magic journey day. <laughs> Mm. How's it? Wow. So the top is nice and caramelized. Crispy. Very sweet. Mmm. 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 <laughs> wow. That's some very tasty and creamy custard. <laughs> it's falling apart. You also have some delicious raspberry. It's crispy. It's got a nice little texture. And honestly, I think this is probably one of my favorite treats now at the Jolly Holiday. Oh. Mm. And it's got that nice little crunch on the top from the crystallized sugar. This is good, guys. If you're going to Jolly Holidays, try one of these. They are delicious. All right, so right here we have the Dutch apple muffin. And wow, does that look crumbly on top. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, get some milk, guys, or something to drink because that is really, <laughs> really hard to you know, swallow. Wow, very crumbly on top. And it kind of almost reminds me of like a coffee cake. It's got that nice cinnamon taste. I do have that nice subtle taste of apples. Wonderful. But I think my favorite thing so far still here at the Jolly Holiday is that raspberry tart, guys. You need to try it and you need to try it now. All right, right now, we're about to walk into Galaxy's Edge because they have this new food at Docking Bay 7 that's out of this world, Woo! or at least I hope so, because we haven't tried it yet. I know, and there's also another little, little treat over at Katsaka's Popcorn. Oh, <laughs> well, we need to go check it out, guys. Now, remember, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, don't forget to leave a big like and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>now this is one of the coolest looking restaurants it's so cool. inside of galaxy's edge yeah it's really well themed and we're about to get another well themed food i know i'm excited they're noodles so that's exciting yes <laughs> they're so good wow Whoa. look at that I, I just love the color guys we're here at docking bay seven and we found chris hey! and ordinary adventures hey! keeper and peter hey! Guys, they all have fantastic channels that you have to check out for yourself. Thank you. Not as good as Magic Journeys. No. Oh, I agree. I was going to say, your channel is like a magical journey. Journey oh. into like Well, thank you. It's just, yeah, it's like you should use that as a name or something, guys. Oh my God, that's, that's such a good idea. I think we should, so we should probably do that, right? I'm going to channel that. That's smart, yeah. And you guys really have very, very nice, ordinary adventures, you know? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> see, see, when you say it that way, it sounds like an insult. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you change the name to Extraordinary Adventures, oh, huh? Oh, we have to say it like with the whole ordinary. Extraordinary. <laughs> huh? a park and then we got now. the. Oh, my gosh. So, here's it. I have to say this. Just for you guys, for those of you watching, if you have ever had a chance to meet them in person, they are sweethearts. They're so kind oh, in person. They're you. just like they are in camera as they are in person. It's amazing. And we, uh, do, you, uh, do you guys ever feel like when you're watching your channel that you're gaining a little bit of weight? I do sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating the food with them. I'm like, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Have you licked the screen? Okay, is that too much? I did that once. It, like, it looks so good. I was like, oh. Oh, man. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, it's great awesome. to see you guys yeah. here. Good seeing you. Enjoy All right. Those noodles. They're good. Thank you. So this is the Dubac Chili Noodles, and it's spiced pappardelle noodles and ginger ground pork with Brussels sprouts, leaves, and shredded red cabbage. 
Wow. That looks very colorful. I do like, look at this. Wow, I can only imagine it's gonna be a very savory dish. And these are <laughs> dewbacks, just like in Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't even know how to, all right, here we go. Let's dig in. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> Ooh. Let's try a little bit of everything here. I love the color. Look at those pepper deli noodles. Wow, big flat noodles. Oh my gosh, guys. This is very tasty. Now it's savory, very robust. And I do love the fact that the noodles have a spice to them. They're actually, they got a kick, guys. If you don't like spicy food, you might not like this because it is a little spicy, but it is very flavorful. And the beef kind of has a little bit of a sweetness to it. I believe it's probably because of the ginger, but that's very earthy. I think, Janelle, you need to try this. My turn. It's very good. Yay. Here. Ooh. These noodles look really delicious. You're going to get a kick out of them. Oh. A spicy <laughs> kick. A spicy kick. It's, it's spicy. not bad, though. It's like from 1 out of 10, 10 being really spicy. I would say it's like a like a like four or three or three or four. It's not too bad, but it's really, really good. It's flavorful, too. All right, so right here we have the Tatooine potato hand pie. Now this is tikka masala spice with minced cilantro and a yogurt sauce. That, oh man, this is uh, $6.79. It's very small. Very tiny. Very tiny. So let's try it out, let, benefit of the doubt, okay? Let's try this out first and let's see if it's any good. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. <laughs> all right, so the outside pastry is very flaky, which I do like, um, but I took a bite and all I got was pastry. So I'm hoping right now I'm gonna try some of the potato on the inside with some of that sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Now it's a yogurt sauce. Oh no! Oh no! It all fell out. Oh my gosh, it's a all struggle. Right. It's a struggle. That does not look appetizing anymore. <laughs> oh wow, that yogurt sauce is so good. It has a nice taste of lime, which I do like. Very citrusy. And it does mesh well with this. I do like the fact that it's a nice little flaky pastry. It is very tasty. Uh, the potatoes and the spices, it's a very savory treat. Sadly, I don't think it's worth its price. That price that you pay for this is, it should come with two guys, two Disney. But honestly, I would say skip this. And if you want to try something delicious, head over to that Docking Bay 7 because that dish that we tried, that was out of this world. I just love going to Galaxy's Edge and checking out the marketplace because yes. they have some really cool Star yeah, Wars merch. It smells like chicken masala. It's all the spices I ate. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this, it smells really good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? It was really good, but for that price, uh, it's really a price. I, I wish two. they gave you like three or two, yeah, like you said. Yeah. But. No, I don't know about three, but two would have been fair. One, <laughs> uh, kind of pushing it. Really there. Tiny. Anyways, I we do love coming here. It's like so much to do here. There is, and uh, you know what? For some reason, I'm just craving that Toy Dara swirl. And that's basically the blue milk here. <laughs> mm, I love the toy dairy as well. And you guys, don't be afraid to ask for extra of the chili chamoy and tahin because that's what I do. That's what makes so it amazing. delicious. Yes. I just love seeing the Mark Twain go by. I know. Oh. Bye, guys. <laughs> Such a gorgeous riverboat. And there it goes. Right over the rivers of America. Goodbye. Have a safe adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so right over here in Critter Country. Ooh, do you hear that? It's the train. Oh! It's the Disneyland Railroad. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there you I go. always love seeing it, guys. It's there it goes. <laughs> that is a magical thing. Right now we're over here at the Hungry Bear. We're gonna get what was it? The red funnel? Red, no, no. It's a red velvet funnel cake. Red velvet mm -hmm. funnel cake. And I'm guessing that's something that's for like Valentine's Day? It's a little Day? fly on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for Valentine's, I believe. I think so. I don't remember having it last, or two, obviously not last year or the year before that, but Yeah, this yeah. is definitely something new. So let's I'm go excited. take a look at let's that go. red velvet funnel cake. Don't let's go see. check it out. <laughs> there it is. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. Oh, wow. A red velvet funnel cake. Yoink. Hey, doesn't that look good? Can I help you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's always so silly. <laughs> Let's try. 
Mm, that smells good. I need to try that one day. I just I don't know if I have the arm muscles. Uh, we should do video? it. There's a video of a guy like really struggling. Like he's going like super like. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna make it. Let me know if you've ever ridden the canoes here at Disneyland, and if you have, how how did you like it? What was your experience? You, I want to know in the comments ride below. It no, I've never done. I've it. done it like once or twice. But I feel like I underestimate the strength that I have. Well, yeah, you have to have like, a lot of strength. I know yeah, that for a fact. Like upper strength because you're just like this. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm already tired by like the third row. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> but you need to try it sometime. All right, so Hungry Bear, I got myself this delicious looking red velvet funnel cake with strawberry ice cream, whipped cream, and some deliciousness. Here we go. Well, I hope it's delicious. Oh my gosh. This is really good. Like this is really nice. I love the crunchiness of the red velvet funnel cake. The ice cream is really, really tasty and very creamy. And you know what? I didn't think I would like the cream cheese icing that's right there. But they actually pair well together. It's almost like a cheesecake. Ooh. This makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, if you're looking for a nice delicious treat with your partner, get yourself this. It's really fun and tasty and that strawberry ice cream is like chef's kiss. It's so nice. But yeah, cheers or dig in or bon Do appetit. The magic oh, the magic is journey is way. <laughs> there you go. Clink. Bye, everyone. Oh, the Mark Ooh, Twain. Waving. I can never get enough of the Mark Not Twain. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. There they go. <laughs> they are off to a new adventure. They're off to a new adventure. So I really hope you guys are keeping up with us because we've been trying a lot of food today, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> some hits, some misses, but right now we're actually on our way to the Minjula bar because there's some new beignets Ooh. and a new drink. So let's go. Let's go, let's Janelle. Go. Let's go. To the Minjula bar. I can't wait to get some beignets. Did you get them? I got them. Yeah, Let's you got go. the goods. <laughs> got the goods and the dipping sauce too. All right. All right, guys. So I got the Mickey butter cookie beignets and the dipping sauce that goes with it. Um, it's 89 cents extra if you want the dipping sauce. I'm a little bummed though because they don't have the new passion fruit mint julep that I came here to try, which is fine. She said it might be coming in soon. It's just that they're not. It's not perfect yet. You know what I mean? They need to. <laughs> they need to work on it a little a bit little until bit they get more. it right. Yes, yeah. it was on the. She was funny because she was like, a lot of people have been asking for it. I'm like, well, bring it in. <laughs> but anyways, for, for now we'll come back and try that next time. But for now, let's try out these new delicious. They smell really good too. Cookie butter beignets. I gotta. <laughs> gotta do one of those. Whoa. Whoa. I'm so excited. Look, look that's that pile of sugar right there. It's calling your name, McVee. Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Here we go. It is really good, but I don't think it tastes like a cookie butter or anything special. Like, I was expecting like a, a sugar cookie taste or like a biscuit taste. Uh -huh. but I don't taste anything at all. You know, it just tastes like a regular, like a regular hollow. What is that? What? A regular hollow Disney. beignet. Disney, we need to talk about your What's beignet. What's going on? Talk what to is us. This? Should we sit down and talk? Yeah, we need to sit down. <laughs> Mickey, let's let's have a talk. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what the actual dipping sauce. Maybe that would help. Here we go. Mm. Here we go. With this, it tastes more like a cookie now. It tastes like a sort of like a like a snickerdoodle. Or like a sugar cookie combined. Do you know what I mean? Like a What's kind of disappointing though is that you have to buy that extra. side. Extra. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Like you have to buy this extra in order to get the flavor of the cookie butter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's not cool. So I feel like <laughs> they should just not charge you for this and give you... Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't want to be too much. but. Well, yeah. And then that hollow... Oh my gosh. That's not good. It's not good, Disney. <laughs> we really just sit down and be like, what's going on? Should we... Jazz Kitchen. That's all I gotta say. Jazz kitchen yes. beignets compared to this. So to be honest, you guys, I feel like you should skip this treat just because I don't. It's nothing special. And go for that red velvet cake or red velvet funnel cake that we had earlier. <laughs> that was really delicious. That was pretty good, right? <laughs> so go with that. Maybe skip these, but if you want to try it, go for it. But yeah. <laughs>
It's too bad about those beignets. They I were know, pretty I good. Have but them. I'll give them to my nephew when we get home. He'll eat them. He'll enjoy them. Yeah. He's a little one, so. I just wish so they weren't good. so hollow. They didn't used to be that hollow. I know, but you guys, I've always said this. I always said in past videos, I was like, I'm so team Jazz Kitchen beignets. And you were Jazz so Kitchen. Team. It's Mickey winning me over. Disney. This is the thing is Mickey's beignets used to be very, very tasty <laughs> and fluffy. And now I just see them and they're all hollow. I told you, you've never seen it. this before. I'm like, wow, <laughs> they're good. I can see the flavor is there. And I can see if it was more fluffier in the inside yeah it would have been like the perfect beignet ah. but now it's just like it's you just get like the flat like a little tortilla bread. two things know. disney needs to work on one is the pizza at the pizza port and pizza our plan planet. pizza planet stuck in the 90s. and the, and the beignets <laughs> those beignets need to be fixed yes. because that's and they're very hollow that's disappointing let's not do that <laughs> You guys made it very nice. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you, Armando. All right. Look at this. It's the strawberry float, and it's got a little mini bow on top. Oh, she made it so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So right over here at the Golden Horseshoe, this is a new drink. This is the strawberry float, and as you can see, it's got some Sprite. It's got some strawberry ice cream, and on the top. We got Minnie's little bow there. Yes. All right, let's try this out. I'm pretty sure you're probably gonna have to mix this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you probably do, because I only taste the Sprite. Let me mix it up here. All right. <laughs> okay, so it does have that, that fizziness of the Sprite, but it does have a little subtle taste of strawberry when you mix it. It's a nice little shake. It looks pretty. It's supposed to be for Instagram. There's nothing really crazy special, but it's a nice little strawberry float with some Sprite and a little mini bow there. So if you want to take some pretty pictures, you can absolutely come over to the Golden Horseshoe, get yourself one of these, and take your Instagram photos. <laughs> I want the bow. How cute. She's gonna eat the bow. You see it? Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> chocolate. Mmm, what do you think of the, the floats? Let me see. Like a strawberry creamsicle. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There she goes. Come on, more food to try. <laughs> All right. Now Disneyland isn't the only place that has new foods right now. It looks like Disney's California. Hey! <laughs> it looks like Disney's California Adventures joining in on the fun too. So why don't we head over to Disney's Let's California go. Adventure? Let's go. We're going to the award winners. We're here in Hollywood Land over at Disney's California Adventure. I'm and we're about to try again. a new lava dog. Yeah, because all we had was a lot of treats. Now it's time for some savory foods. You yeah, know what I mean? I definitely need something savory. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Would you mm. take a look at oh my goodness? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, take a look at this. Now this you can get at the award winners. Now this is the lava dog, and as you can see, it's got some pulled pork. You have some pineapple chutney on top, and you get some curly fries. Doesn't that look tasty? Here we go. Let's try this out. <laughs> it's nice toasty. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's messy. You did the magic journey's way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. We got a winner here. Or should I say a wiener? This is really good. I do love the hot dog. It's very savory, but it does have a nice sweet taste. The pulled pork is what makes it savory, and the pineapple chutney is sweet. It doesn't have any heat, which I thought it might. I thought it'd probably have like jalapenos, but it doesn't. It's just a little bit of sweetness on this hot dog. That's a winner. And then curly fries. It doesn't come with the steak fries, which is weird. They changed it to curly fries. Maybe they ran out of the other fries, and they're just the I like this. I like this. <laughs> you like those? Wow. If you want to check this out for yourself, come over to the award winners at Disney's California Adventure. That lava dog is really delicious. Right? It's like a little kick to it, but like I love that pulled pork. It's I can really eat savory. Yeah, it's really good, you guys. I can eat two of those. <laughs> <laughs> literally. So right here I have the chocolate marshmallow funnel cake fries. Look how delicious that looks. Yummies. Wow. Like we didn't have enough treats. Well, we never have enough at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I had more of that marshmallow like like sauce just because I can only taste a little bit of the of the marshmallow but mm -hmm. it's nice and crispy, warm on the inside, very flaky, but at the same time that chocolate sauce right on top is really delicious. Mm. It's a chocolate dream, <laughs> yummy! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> a 
I got myself a tumbler. They came out with like these cute tumblers. I think last time they had this lavender one, but they I didn't get that one, but I got this one. This is like the pink one. And I like this one better because it goes with like the Super Beauty Castle. And I've been waiting for it. Look! What? It's, it's so shiny. shiny. I know. You've been talking about getting a tumbler for like the <laughs> longest time. Yes, they probably got my hands on I thought they were going to be sold out of this one, but I guess people didn't like this one very much. Unless they learned from the last lesson where it sold out really fast in the other one. But not this one, baby. I got my <laughs> hands on it. So the last one they had sold out like crazy or something? I think so. Because I didn't, I didn't get a chance to grab yeah. that one, but... It's pretty nice. Really cute. And by the way, I like this one better because it's like the City Beauty Castle. Yeah, it's a Sleeping Beauty castle Watch them color. come out with like a cute baby blue one and like a pastel green or like a yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love it. All right, we're in wonderful, beautiful Cars Land, or should I say Radiator Springs. Right now, we're heading over to the Cozy Cone Motel Yay. and check out this very tasty yeah. churro. churro. Oh man, Excited. well, earlier we went to the Smoke Jumpers Grill because they're supposed to have this new river shake. And it's the color blue and looks really, really cool. Yeah. So, but we went there, it was closed, and it's like five o'clock. Yeah, they right closed now, early. So. And Oh. What? But next time we'll try it and we'll let you guys know how it tastes. Oh it's yeah. Really pretty though. Right now we're gonna head over to the cozy cone. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. So at the cozy cone motel, got myself the chocolate chip peanut butter churro cheesecake. There's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a peanut butter chocolate chip cheesecake churro. What? <laughs> That's a long name. I know, but the longer the name, I'm sure the better it'll taste. Okay. Let's <laughs> That's put my your theory. theory to the test. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, I want to get more, a lot of that chocolate that melted. You saw that? Yeah. Here we go. Ah! Have you ever had a fast break from Lisa's? Yeah. You think that's what it tastes like? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's giving more Lisa's. You know what I mean? Instead of the cheesecake part. Okay. Which is really nice. I don't mind it. So I it's love like it. a Reese's Pieces churro. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that sounds pretty good. I think they had something similar, remember? At the Woolies churro, but it I, had like, like, um. For Halloween, I think they did. I think so, but I think it was like a, a chocolate syrup with peanut butter. Do you remember? It was like kind really, of, really good. There's had, so like, many peanuts. churros and so many foods oh, you've no. tried that I've already forgotten what's what. This is delicious <laughs> though. It tastes just like it was this peanut butter cup, and I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was so cool. We tried so, so many yummy. foods today, right? Yeah, some hits and misses so far. But <laughs> some hits and misses. Good. That beignet, I still think about it. It makes me a little, a little <laughs> mad. <laughs> but I think we should celebrate because it's our first video back where we finally did a, a little bit of a foodie guide. Yes. You know, and I thought maybe we'd celebrate tonight some and our video tacos. with some quesabirria. That sounds so good. Let's do it. If you guys haven't tried the quesabirria over at the Rancho de. Oh, no. Cucina wow, Cucamanga. You guys. Ah. Come for him in the comments. <laughs> At the Cucina Cucamanga. <laughs> We're gonna go show it to you because these things are amazing, guys. So good. Let's go, let's go get them. <laughs> Right now we're just walking by and we're thinking of getting your pretzel and cast member Emily just came over she and came gave us like, one. Hi. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we were just oh talking. She read our minds. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you guys Emily. for providing magic. You guys are the sweetest. We we really oh my gosh, like I don't know what to do. Like I that know. is like the sweetest gesture ever. You guys are I know the last time we got a shout out on the monorail yeah. and you guys really make a lot of magic for you. Cast for members here us or something else. We love you guys. <laughs> cast members are some of the hardest working people oh, here yes. at Disneyland. It, and okay. honestly, from the bottom of our heart, thank you guys. Thank it means you so a lot. Much. The littlest thing is, means so much to us. So yeah. thank you. There it is, the quesabirria. Oh, and it has some consomme, and we got no chata too. Sorry, I got oh, too excited. <laughs> guys, if you haven't had the quesabirria tacos, I'm telling you right now, this is the best <laughs> thing they have here at Cocina Cucamanga. And if you want some delicious Mexican food. Well, they have it here. There's Rancho Los Zocalo. Yes. And Cocina Cucamanga, I think, beats it just by a little bit. And you got some radishes right here. We have some lime and the consomme, guys. You just, you dip it in here. Let me show you. Oh my different. goodness. Here we go. You put it in there and you take a big bite, guys. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is savory, it is delicious. And oh, it'll fill you up. <laughs> I know I'm trying to take my pictures. I'm like, wait. Cheers, Janelle. Cheers. Oh my. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. The consomme has some onions and cilantro. That is so savory, flavorful. Rabanos, radishes, really good. And we bought an horchata to wash it down with. Oh man, the cold brew was good, but this, that's good. It tastes really, really authentic, which is really nice, because you go to a lot of places where they have horchata, it's not good. This is really good. <laughs> Remind me of the girl again from the, <laughs> from mm -hmm. the Truman Show. From the Truman Show? <laughs> <laughs> I've tried a lot of, uh, what did she say? I've tried a lot of chocolate or milk chocolates or something, but... Cocoa? 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 Oh yeah, I've tried all the cocos. This is the best. That one? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Man, guys, we had a fantastic time guys. here at Disney's California Adventure. We really want to thank and you for Disneyland watching too. this video. Did you forget oh, at all Disneyland the too, of course. <laughs> and by the way, hey, Bye. we just want to say that if you saw the last video we just posted, it looked a little weird. I think I might have yes. uploaded it in the wrong frame rate, so it looks a little. You noticed it too. Yeah. And we also had a trouble uploading, and that's why the upload was like at four o'clock. Oh my Usually gosh, like it took like to four hours to upload, and yeah. finally when it did, it came out all wrong, and I'm like, dang like, it. No. Yeah. YouTube, why did you do this to us? <laughs> so I'm being a little more careful now when I edit yeah. and I select the settings and make sure that I upload it so that it's at the so right I'm so sorry, settings. the other one kind of disoriented you guys. Yeah. I promise it won't happen again, <laughs> but yeah. We just want to say thank you guys for watching us. Thank you for all the kind comments. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out our videos. <laughs> and we just want to say we love you guys, but we'll see you guys here next time on, on the, the wonderful world of food. Bye. Bye.